Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once again, re-rolling our character. Our streak is forever, forever low. But this time we get Kane and we are going to do Greedy Emerge, I think. Kane hasn't done Greedy Emerge yet. I realise we don't have to do it for an unlock or anything, but I do like going for a Greedy Emerge run every now and again. And obviously as Kane, you get to go straight in here. Oh... Oh, starting off with a spinning wheel run. We've also got the re-sprited arcade machines, which look awesome here. And just generally the fact that arcades exist within here. Explosivo could be a lot of fun. Um, I think num uh, number two could also be really good. Tough um, Love is also really good. <laughs> That's got to be the biggest troll I've ever seen. That was evil. That was beautiful and evil. I mean, it doesn't matter because I ended up getting my health back straight away. But that was so funny. So if you don't know what spinning wheel does, if I hold fire for a certain amount of time, I start doing that. Now, I can tap fire to shoot normally, which is honestly what I'll be doing for a good portion of time. But, essentially, there's quite a few items and quite a few situations in which spinning wheel becomes very, very, very strong. Um... One of the situations is actually kind of greed mode specific. We're going to get a lot of enemies at one point, so we'll definitely go for that then. But yeah, either way, um, hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you guys are doing good. But the question of the day today, um, someone left one the other day. Let me try and um, just see if I can find it a second. Um, I, I'm kind of checking on my phone as I'm playing here. It's not a good idea. I should just pause. I should just pause. Um... Hmm. I don't. I, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't find it. Oh god, that enemy scared the bejeebus out of me right there. Um. Hmm. For the question of the day today. Oh my lord. I'm, I'm having. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I might die. Um. These enemies are being dealing full heart damage, and they are incredibly fast, which is not great. I really like the way Spinning Wheel kind of glitches out and fires the tears behind you sometimes. Like, it, it, the, the location they're firing from just isn't correct. I don't know why I like that so much. I'm going to carry on thinking of one. It's it's coming, don't worry, it's coming. I'm just trying to focus on not dying right now. There's a lot of enemies about, which is why I'm utilizing spin, Spinning Wheel right now. It's, it's not a great utilization while we've got, like, I wouldn't say low damage, but not great damage yet. Once we get to a point where we've got good damage, though, it might become a bit more viable. I think I do want to buy a heart just in case. I should still be able to uh, afford an Explosivo at the end of this. Okay, this is a bit of an awkward one. This is a bit of an awkward one. Okay, here's here's a good one. What's a, what's a bug that you're really interested in? What's like a bug or a creature or an animal that you just find fascinating? I, for, for a long time, I, like when I was younger, I was really fascinated by spiders. I know a lot of people are scared of spiders. Um, but for a long time when I was a kid, I used to like, I wouldn't say collect them, but I used to like capture a few of them and like somewhat study them. I, I, I Like when I was younger, I, I was always a kid. By the way, this is a really, really, really horrible lineup for our boss fight here. Two eternal champions um, in boss rush is just kind of hell. We've got no bombs either. And honestly... The Eternal Champion, Duke of Flies, I feel like one of the only ways to actually efficiently defeat him is with a bomb. So, I'm probably just going to take the L on this one um, and just die. It is it is what it is. Starting off with um, a HP up and spinning wheel wasn't exactly the, the biggest get for us. But yeah, this guy is an absolute massive giant pain in the ass. So, that's fine to be expected. But yeah, like... What's like an animal or a bug or something that you're just really, 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 like... I don't know, just really interested in one that I recently found really interesting that I kind of was looking into was um, there's a species of wasp that's like an invasive species that uh, kind of handles pest problems within gardens in the UK. And I didn't know about it until very recently. I watched a little like documentary video. Do you know, I kind of want to just die. This is taking an inordinate amount of time. It's 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 egregious. Like, look how much damage we've dealt to Duke of Flies here. He's just producing an unholy amount of flies. It's it's kind of unfair the amount of flies that are in our face right now. 
I feel like I'm killing them pretty quick too. But yeah, is this, is this like a species of wasp that are like um, somewhat invasive? And But basically, they kind of manage the pest problem within UK gardens, especially for like caterpillars, because they do something really, really peculiar. So um, they lay their eggs within caterpillars. They like, literally like climb up on their back and lay their eggs within them. Um, and um, then the lava grows within the um, within the caterpillar, and you may be thinking, "Holy shit, that's that's that sounds like a really horrible species." But but weird enough, the way that it works is the um, the the lava then get to like reach full term or whatever you want to call it. They reach the point where they're ready to hatch, and quite a lot of them come out of the caterpillar. And you'd think the caterpillar would die from this because it literally just like rips holes in it. But no, the caterpillar survives. But more interestingly. The, um, the lava then produce, like, this, um, silk cocoon, um, to mature in and become wasps. They, they create this cocoon. This is just obscene. Um, they create this cocoon, but the, um, the caterpillar that hosted them actually gets, like, taken over. It's, it loses its, like, control of its mind and actually helps the lava of the wasp to create this cocoon with its silk as well. Or whatever it is. I don't know if it's specifically silk, but create this um, cocoon itself and kind of helps to um, not only cover up the lava, but also protect it from predators. They um, they fight it off. But the weird thing is um, that the caterpillars actually, as animals as they are with their own young and everything, have no maternal instinct. So they wouldn't normally look after their young or look after their eggs or whatever. So it literally completely changes the behavior of these uh, caterpillars. And and then obviously eventually the caterpillar um, just dies because it starves to death because it's defend it's literally defending these eggs to death. You're really thinking, oh, poor caterpillar, but it, it genuinely saves plants like because the, the caterpillars, if their uh, population got too high, they just eat all the leaves and destroy everything. So it kind of works out and you'd think that even though this wasp is like a really sounds like a really devious and kind of horrible creature it's actually doing um the environment a really good like a really good favor i can't believe how long this has taken actually obscene how long this took and the fact that we still have enemies to fight after it is just egregious We have been here for so long. I was like, do you know what? We'll play greed mode today. I've only got half an hour. It'll be a quick episode. Three hours later. It's literally been playing for like almost 10 minutes. We got a penny out of that for some reason. I really have no idea why. Uh, grab me some explosiva. I'll do this, but I'm, I'm sure that I could die here. I, I'm just going to try and... Um, well, that helps. Try and use explosiva to do my damage here. Just remember this guy's going to fire out mega troll bombs. Really? I've missed every Explosivo shot so far. Okay, that guy actually died pretty quick. Every in the room explodes, taking 15 damage, the explosion can hit you too. Every that dies from the explosion will give you a temporary damage boost. Okay, nice. Down to the next floor. Well, that was that was something. That surely was something. What a what a fun what a fun floor that was. We got a library here, that's actually kind of interesting. And here we can grab Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A bunch of keys. Multi-dimensional baby, also pretty good. Um, and my library has turned into nothing. Oh, wait, what? No. No. This isn't fair. This isn't, this isn't fair at all. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's um, let's just full card out of here, because that's, that's not fair. <laughs> it was just a wall. You can't do that to me. It was just a wall. <laughs> That's so rude. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Wasn't expecting you. Okay, I've got some of that going. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We haven't got um, anything amazing on this floor, I'll be honest. I'm just going to kind of leave everything on this floor, I think. Explosivo should carry us pretty far. I'm a little annoyed to lose my uh, my, cane, my canine's wrap or whatever it was called. Um, the tooth thing, because that was a pretty cool um, and very useful for greed mode consumable. But I guess I'll just um, accept my fate here. So I'm, I'm just sort of wondering, is it going to be better to have the higher fire rate and the higher chance for explosivo shots here? Or is it going to be better to be accurate? 
What? No, you didn't. You had two explosivo shots stuck to you, and you didn't die. What the hell, game? Game's hard as balls right now. Dude, skeleton, please die. Also, there is a thousand of these things. Okay, is the skeleton dead? I think the skeleton's dead. Still get hit, though. Still get hit. For some reason, changing direction from back to forward always ends the, um, the spinningness of, the, of this. It's very annoying. Okay, you, you lot, bugger off. Stop creating skeletons. You're the worst. Okay, lots of explosives going off there. I do think this is the better method, I'll be honest. It's kind of risky, just because there's a lot of time where we're not hitting the enemy. I think for actually landing explosivo shots, it seems to be the best way forward. If there was more enemies we could get close to, it'd be even better, but that's seemingly impossible right now. Dude, skeleton, there you go. Hello there, young sir. Come on, explosivo shots, hit. Now, this guy I'm not too sure about. Okay, no, he's fine. He's fine. There's another one, though. Round two. Fight. Yeah, we are firing just an obscene amount of explosivo shots here. This is the way to go. We only need to stick, like, two to him for this to work. We're doing damage to him regardless of if we stick anything to him. It is a little annoying when we stick nothing to him, though. There you go. He's dead. I'm just going whole hog with this business. Um, I think early game. We're going to be killing the bosses pretty quick. Holy damn. Well, them two died pretty quick. Angel deal? Oh. Do you know what, Scented Candle? You're not the you're not the best in the world, but you're not terrible. I'll take you. Um, I don't think we want to mess around with anything in that shop, I'll be honest. Seems a little cowardly. But yeah, I do have to remember that whatever room we get as our special room, we should try and enter it first. If we can, because otherwise it seems to switch. Also, we got a planetarium here, which gave us terror. Very nice. Also, by the way, I seem to get the planetarium even on a 0% chance. I'll take that. Thank you. And... Akeldama. I don't think we need Akeldama, I'll be honest. That's really good. And then in here, we have we have tears up, which seems like a good idea generally. And then I will re-roll. I realize that I can't afford anything right now, but still. 4.5 volts probably pretty good for us here. Look at Lucifer just gives us a wicked damager. Okay, I think we've entered I think we've entered like our, our uh, OP OP zone now. We're kind of killing stuff pretty pretty quick. And the extra fire rate is helping. Okay, the book on, on multiple uses doesn't really give us all too much to go on. Dude, come on now. Get one of them stuck to you, please. Beautiful. Just trying to be aggressive as possible here to stick things. We're also charming things a lot because of our candle. I think the candle changes depending on... Like, when you, walk, when you walk into the room. So what we could do is we could re-roll the candle into something that we want first. I think that could be a pretty good tactic. But these guys are going to be problematic. I mean, actually, we've got penetration up, so maybe not. Oh, what the hell? What was that? Something hit me, I did not know what it was. Hello. Thank you. Oh, with terror we can shoot straight through these. I did not know that. I mean, it makes sense. I did not know that. Oh, hello. You again? Whoa, 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 whoa. Things are getting a bit too spicy right now. A bit too spicy. What? God damn. Oh, 
Oh, god damn. Okay, okay, okay. Back through here. We'll take 4.5 volt. I'm gonna take some HP as well. Seems like a good idea. Probably shouldn't have done what I did there, because now I've lost my damage up. Whoa. Is this guy reflecting my shots back at me? So annoying that you can't tell when they're eternal champions. I've asked the developer. Apparently, there isn't really a way to fix it, unfortunately. But it is still very, very frustrating. We'll take that. Dude, this dude's just reflecting all of his shots back at me. What the hell do I do? Kill him, that's what. Wait, do both of these guys reflect shots? Dude, come on now. Come on, you've been, you've been hiding for way too long. Okay. My lord, that was difficult. And then we get... I think that's probably better. Also, we have to buy the heart. Grab that as well. Okay, on our way we go. Th this door is hella glitchy. <laughs> There's some real wacky stuff going on with it that should not be. Okay, so. Next floor. Let's try some stuff out. Let's try some stuff out. Because we didn't get any room this time around. Oh, no, we did, but it's not there. Yeah, there's some glitchy stuff going on with this. Wait, that cost a key? Why? Game, you're being rather confusing right now. I'd rather you stop. Thank you. Why did I walk into that, you may be asking. Who knows? Yeah, um... Game's been rather confusing right now. I'll be very honest, it is. There's my key back. Letting me in here now. Probably not aware of the use, use of the key there, but there you go, it's happened. Okay. Don't really know how to deal with some of these. I'm just going to pretend they don't exist. Empress. Fuck. Did... Are, are you kidding me? Did it instantly step on the button the moment... What? I did not know that could happen. I realised I walked back over it, but I thought it wouldn't matter. I thought it'd have some iframes to it sort of thing. It wouldn't be able to be pressed immediately. Some BS right there. BS caused by me, but BS nonetheless. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Get away from me. We're doing, re like, pretty well, to be honest. Things are... We're getting through the waves pretty fast. Explosivo is not helping as much as I thought it would, but it's still good. Oh, damn. That guy's a big boy. I think my main problem right now is just that I have an unfathomably low amount of health literally all the time. Like, I haven't... I haven't ever had more than, like, four hearts. And we're on the womb. Not too good. Not too good indeed. Oh, there's double of you? Hello. I mean, you should go down pretty fast. Oh, that's an immortal heart. I would like that. Is this just all eternal enemies? What the hell's going on with the just unfathomable amount of eternal enemies spawning? Very frustrating. Okay, this sandwich just got blur. Is, is he eternal as well? He looks eternal. He looks larger than normal. That could just be the champion version of him, but I'm going to bet that's not the case. I'm going to bet the game's screwing me again. 
Also, Bloat, why? Everyone thinks that, like, or, or talks about the fact that Bloat's brimstone eyes and stuff are the big problem, but they're not. It's all the creep that the man produces. It's too much. Way too much. This time we've got a devil deal, might as well take a peek. At this point, let's just go whole hog. Check what's in here, I guess. Eye saw seems like a really good idea for us right now. More tears, the better. And we're going to be firing a lot of tears already. Okay, down we go. Sadly, we don't get to keep that golden key. A little bit late, but oh well. Onto the corpse. We got the golden key back, so who cares? <laughs> Perfection. I right, quickly check out the shop. We got 30 cent here. Nothing there that I'd like right now. The boots are kind of nice, but need something a little better. I'll take raw liver. I realize it's, a, it's kind of a high cost for an item like that. Still, squeezy is another one that I'll definitely take. I'll take the latter. Large it's kind of nice here. And I'll take the latter again. The speed is uh, whatever. Speed is whatever. Okay, I'm actually not too bad with being on the corpse here, because most of these waves should be okay, because I know that they're all custom. No vanilla waves. Not that the vanilla waves are too bad now, because they did edit them all, but still. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing the lag increasing a little bit, because of saw. I think that is, at least. I'm not 100% sure if that's what's causing it, but that would be my first guess. We're just firing a lot more tears. You're annoying. Let's take care of you. I think there's another one of you above, isn't there? No? Okay. Whoa there. Keep our immortal heart going if we can. Unfortunately, because the room doesn't end, the poison and stuff doesn't dissipate immediately like it would if, we, if you clear a room. That's always a bit frustrating. I mean, it's manageable, but it's still not ideal. Ow. Okay, lost the Immortal Heart. I mean, Immortal Heart doesn't really do too much in Greedy Mode anyways, because it only re regenerates when you exit a room. We're not exiting rooms very often during combat, at least. So it's not super useful, but it would still have been nice to keep it. I definitely think Spinning Wheel has been good here. I'm glad I stuck, stuck this run out. I was kind of planning on just killing myself when we had that really long boss fight at the start, but it seems to have... Uh, been a good idea to stick with this. Oh, he looks cool as so the uh, read mode variant. He is going to be really hard, though. I reckon this is probably the hardest boss you can get on um, read mode, probably. A one of the hardest, just because of attacks like this. But he died very quickly, so that doesn't matter. Another immortal heart. Awesome. We're going to get another devil deal here, unfortunately. No angel deal for us. But still, devil deal could end up paying out with some good stuff. What in the... Are these explosive shots they're firing right there? If they are, that's nutty. I mean, they died quickly, but that's still nutty. Eh, unfortunately, neither of them do much for us. Um, and then, item-wise, we definitely want to buy Squeezy, as we said. And I'll, I'll bomb this to see if we get anything better, but I'm not going to spend any money re-rolling. We got PJs. I'll take PJs. PGS is pretty good. That puts our health in a far, 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 far better spot. Okay. Away we go. This has gone reasonably. We still have a floor to go. We do have a dice room available to us, but unfortunately we do not have the, uh, the key to enter it straight away. I managed to spawn directly into a fire there. I have very limited time left for this episode. I was supposed to be finished with the episode by now, I think. I... I, I in a stupid move, decided to record with very limited time available on my side, but I thought, you know what? It'll be fine, because we'll just do greedy mode. Greedy mode runs are rarely over half an hour. Fool on me, I guess. Juicy Sack plus Zit is also a nice combination that we've got going on right now. Can you stop with that, please? 
I mean, we are killing stuff very, very quickly, which is a positive. We're getting through the waves very fast. But the, the boss fight itself is probably going to take a good amount of time. Okay. One more wave. Two more waves, even. No, one more wave? One more wave. Ow. Immortal Heart, stay with me. Yeah, one more wave. On to the boss wave. Okay. Are you eternal again? Please don't be eternal again. If, if you are, that's just rude. Okay, good, you're not. Can never tell. The size difference is not enough <laughs> between the champions to tell. There you go. Look at the amount of explosive shots I got on you then. Wow. Okay, we got through that pretty quick. And quickly do this. We can actually just, yeah, kind of like barrel stuff the enemy. It's a little bit hard to get right and can easily get us killed. But with the Immortal Heart, we've kind of got the ability to do so. Um, I'm going to go with Revenge here just because it is so very good against bosses. Ah, oh, I can't believe that hit me. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Right, to the boss. One minute remaining. I'm supposed to be done in a minute. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Here's a quarter as well, why not? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to barrel stuff the living hell out of him. I'm also going to pop this, because I don't know if it'll work, but I think it does. Okay, I did, unfortunately, hit myself there. But as you can see, revenge did a good amount of damage off of the back of it. Another Immortal Heart. We are getting so lucky with Immortal Hearts right now. Like, obscenely lucky. More keys. I don't really care about destroying the keys, because for the most part, all these enemies are going to die really easily just by me um, shooting. Because I'm shooting in every direction all the time. I could try and throw out some more bombs here as well. I do have quite a lot now. He's getting close to dead. Don't worry about the really dumb damage I'm currently taking. You've got to remember that Revenge is always going to be doing a lot of damage whenever we take damage, so I don't really have to worry. Revenge is insane. It's so good. It's it's a good item as well, because it's like there's just too many on-hit effects that are crap. At least this one's good. It means something. I think it's percent-based damage, which is why it's so good. Okay, he did get me there. I'll give you that. Now, this, this this section becomes a bit of a problem because barrel stuffing him isn't going to really work because of that. And also, these lasers are going to be problematic too. I might die. I'm going to play it safe and hope, not, hope I don't, but I might die. I did lob a bomb, bomb out there, but didn't do particularly much. He's going to go and collect all these coins and get some healing, but... That's only very minor amounts. Come on. Could you please attach more coins to the... Uh, more explosivo bombs to this man? Sometimes we're getting, like, non-attached to him. I think time-wise, though, we're actually doing pretty well. I'm only a few minutes over schedule. <laughs> it's a race against time. Speedrun in greed mode. This is why I like greed mode runs, though. They are a bit more concise. And with all these extra mods that we have, we are having a lot of fun with them now. And I've been seeing that a lot of you guys are enjoying watching them, which is something that... Honestly, I wouldn't think I'd save a vanilla. But with the mods and stuff, modded items included, it's a lot more fun. Okay, there you go. We've, we, we've got him bested. Not too bad at all. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy a very fun little run there. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.